Hi! I am gonna to have a discussion on how to enable all Raspberry Pi 4 UART in Ubuntu today. I assumed that you got a Raspberry Pi 4 with Ubuntu OS. I am using Ubuntu 20.04 but it doesn't matter which version we use. Let's get started. Open a terminal to check the existing UARTs. It is too many of them. We could use TTYAMA as the prefix and try again. As you can see, we only got ATTYAMA0 which is UART0. The device should have four UARTs, UART0 to UART3. This is the pin table of the corresponding available UARTs. We also need the pinouts to connect it for testing later on. One of the most effective method to check UART is to use a wire connects TX and RX together. For instance, connect GPIO0 and GPIO1 with a wire to test UART1. We should expect receiving the same char that we have sent. Let's test it out. We need to off the device then remove its micro SD card. Insert the SD card to PC to open the system boot drive. Please do not format it. The warning is due to incompatible partition from the Ubuntu. Look for the user config.txt and add these DT overlay to enable all UARTs. Save and close it. Reinsert it to your RPI and turn it on again. Assumed that your RPI is booted up, we could open a terminal again and use the same way to list the existing UARTs. This time we should use TTYAMA as listing prefix. Cool. We able to see all the four UARTs in Ubuntu now. To send and receive data, we need to install PuTTY. Let's do it now. Input sudo apt install yputty to begin the installation. While waiting the installation to complete, it's a good time to connect and short GPIO4 and GPIO5 to test with UART2. To open PuTTY, just input PuTTY in the terminal and press enter. And UI will be prompted out. Select serial and input DEV, TTYAMA2 with any baud rate you prefer. Great. Open it and type something. You will see it is sending back. It is echo back from the shorted wire. We will receive nothing if removing the wire. Let's test one more on TTYAMA1. You need to connect the wire accordingly to the right pins which are GPIO0 and GPIO1. It works amazingly. I have tested TTYAMA3 as well. Please note that TTYAMA0 is occupied by RPI for console. You may turn it off if you really need so many UARTs in your project. Thank you for watching.